Today, I want to talk you through how to dynamically filter your data in Power BI report to give your report consumers flexibility to show the top and bottom dimensions, provide flexibility to the top end filters pane which doesn't exist, and enhance your user experience. Hey, this is Hayden from Connect TV. Thanks for tuning in. If you're just finding me for the first time, please hit subscribe, please, please hit like, stay up to date for all the future content. So in the previous video, we talked through um, rank and how to use rank in Power BI to rank your data. Here's an example of ranking by the customer name, by the company, by the revenue measure. So as you can see, the top revenue, we've ranked our customers. So we can start to visualize our top and bottom performing dimensions, whether it be company, whether it be month, whether it be period, whatever. Okay. So another way that we could filter the data for the users is, is a, a little bit rigid here. But if I select this visual, we've got the company name here, top N in the, the filter type. I could just say show me the top five based on revenue. hit apply. That show me the top five. However, what we don't have here is the flexibility to change this easily. What I'm going to show you is how to allow your users to modify this information through a slicer on the report page. So if I just jump over to ranking filter. So I've already created a slicer here. And if I just give you a quick overview of what that slicer is, it's a numeric se series in a table. It's in my ranking table here. And you can see I've got five increments of five up to 30. Right, so how I did that was I found on the modeling tab, I, I hit new table. And I use this generate series function here. So how generate series works, it uh, passes three values. So you have your start number. So I've started at five. You have your maximum number. So I went to 30 and the increments. So you could easily change this to say start from one and go up to 15 increments of two. And as you can see, the slicer here will change. It starts at zero actually. You can see your slicer will change to, to have a numeric value increment by two. Right. So if I just jump back to what that was for the purpose. So generate series, really great tool to, to generate a, a numeric list in a table. Another way you could have done this information is you, you could have just entered the data and typed the number in. But for me, generate series gives you a little bit more flexibility. Okay. Um, then what I wanted to do, I wanted to capture the value that's selected here. So if I just highlight this, you can see that I've got the value 25, if I select 15, it's 50. If I take that away, it automatically defaults to show top 50. If I just show you that measure. Um, the reason I've put this in rather than just using the um, top rank is because people could, if they wanted to, select two, two records. Uh, and so to, to get around that, I've got this uh, simple if statement here. This is a measure that says has one value. So if the ranking top rank table has one value selected, and in the example here it doesn't, um, but if it does, show me the values of that rank. So again, one value, so therefore show me that value. If I don't have a value, it's default into 50. So using that, I can make sure that I've always got a, a number to use in the filter. All right. So now, what I want to do is use the rank X filter to create a new measure. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if I go here and select new measure. So I'm going to call this my top customers revenue filter. Okay, so I'm going to start to use variables here because I want to sort of build up um, data. So I'm going to start with the ranking value. So I want to, um, the, the dimension that I want to rank by. So using bar, I'm going to call this the dimension rank. And this is going to be the values 
in my company name. The next rank, uh, the next, sorry, the next um, variable I want to use is the ranking value. So if I rank you, and this is the measure that we've created that says show top value. There we go. So as I've used variables, I've got to enter the command return. Let me just spell it properly. Return. So that return basically tells Power Beyond that we're moving into a sort of calculation. So to start off, it's, I'm going to use the calculate. Uh, calculate is probably the greatest thing I've ever seen in a system. It's it's so flexible, so usable. It, it, it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant um, function in DAX. It allows you to evaluate and filter data um, so easily. So using calculate, what I want to calculate is using the revenue. So if I look at the revenue measure, I want to calculate my top, my top or bottom companies by revenue. And in the filter, I'm going to hit select filter. And the first thing I want to do is it wants the table, but I've already defined the values of the company here. So I'm just going to use the dim range that we created above because that's all I want to filter. And then the expression for the filter, this is where we put the rank X now. So using rank X, again, I want to put my values in. So it's all of the company. Okay. Um, well, I want to value it by revenue again. That's the basis of the measure, the calculate. And I want to sort this descending because I want my highest revenue to be my number one. Okay. So where we've put now, we've put that rank in. That's going to rank that information. And the way that we're now going to filter is where that ranking value is less than or equal to the, the dimension rank. Sorry, the rank value. This dimension here, which is looking at the top value, which at the moment is set to 50. Okay, shift enter and close off that calculate. So here I now have my top customers revenue filter. Show you how this works. If I drop in a chart, resize that. And remember in the in the measure, we're, we're using the company name as the value that's ranked against with the revenue. So I need to put my company name in. And if I just started off with my revenue, you'd see I get a list of all of the records. No matter what I do, it doesn't change that. If I take away that revenue and put our new measure in, the top customer's revenue filter, I've got a limited list here that shows the top 15. If I was to choose five, it's limiting it to five, 10. So this, using these simple DAX features that are really, really powerful, your users now have the ability to, to flex and move the information within their data model, within their report, and really get some deep, deep analysis. This is a great user enhancement feature, okay? So that's um that's it for today's video. Uh, just if you please hit like, please hit subscribe. If you find anything that you want to talk about in the future, please please leave that in the comments. If there's anything you want to say about this video, please leave it in the comments. Um, and thanks ever so much for listening and watching.